Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Today's gonna be pretty interesting. It probably doesn't sound like it right now. I think I sound normal now, but my allergies are really, really bad. I think it's due to the weather, but I have to film stuff today. Like I have to, I don't have a choice. I should have done it yesterday or the day before, but it wouldn't have mattered because my allergies were still bad. My brain is a little like loopy right now because of the Benadryl and there's just a lot going on, but two of the TikToks are gonna be a lot of work because they involve a lot of changing outfits and like talking and things yeah so it's a busy content day but i thought i would vlog a little bit of it because i don't think i've ever vlogged showing like how i do content and stuff like that so i thought it'd be fun to do in this vlog but let me show you guys my super janky setup and how i typically do my tiktoks and i'll get some clips of filming the tiktoks it's it's a mess in here, but le let me show you. Okay, so this is where I usually film my TikToks. If I'm doing a get ready with me TikTok or anything where I'm trying on clothes or an OOTD or something like that, I always film it right here, just stacked up on these books. I put my phone right there and I just film this little area right here because it's pretty open. I have my softbox light. It's just a mess over here, a mess. This chair is usually in that corner. I think I can put it back. I was testing the light to see if it looked better coming from this corner or from this side. So I had to move that chair that's usually in that corner. But the TikToks I have to film are a clothing haul. So in the last vlog, I showed you guys this clothes that I got from Naked Wardrobe and Pretty Little Thing. But I want to do a TikTok, like a little TikTok haul. So I'm going to do that with the same clothes that you guys saw in the last vlog. And then let me show you. I have to do another outfits TikTok, so I have the outfits kind of laid out there. You can't really tell what it is, but clearly I need to clean. It looks fucking tragic. I need to do the laundry, obviously. A mess. Um, my hair and makeup is done. This is as good as it's gonna get. I'm still not heat styling or straightening my hair. I'm not gonna lie. It's starting to piss me off. Like I just wanna call it quits and do a blowout or straighten it, but I'm not going to. I'm so close. My birthday is in like three weeks, I wanna say. So if I can just push through for three more weeks, <laughs> just three more weeks. Um, but yeah, let's get started because I wanna get all of this done as quickly and efficiently as possible. Okay, I'm pretty much done with everything I needed to get done with today. I don't even know if I'm speaking proper English at this point, I'm exhausted. I've eaten one time today. I took a break and ate some Chick-fil-A, but that's all I've eaten today and it's now six o'clock. But I filmed everything I needed to film. I changed my clothes like 20 times. I don't even wanna show you the disaster that is our bedroom and closet and bathroom at this point. There's stuff, ever I'm gonna have to clean all this today cause we can't even like live. Though it was exhausting and frustrating at times, I got everything done so I feel so much better and all the anxiety I have surrounding the stuff I needed to film is now gone because I always get anxiety about things I have to film because for some reason in my head I'm like what if the content I provide them is not what they're looking for what if they don't like it all these anxieties I have to try to remind myself that like these companies and brands came to me and wanted to work with me it wasn't me reaching out to them and they were just like okay whatever like they want me to do it so I have to keep that in my mind that like they don't hate me <laughs> and they you know trust in what i'm gonna provide and stuff like that so now i just have the fun part my favorite part of all of this is editing all the content so that's what i'm doing for the rest of the day i didn't get very much footage of me 
doing things. My brain was so all over the place. I literally forgot to like press record on my camera like 10 times. So sorry if there's not that much footage. Basically what I wanted you to gather from it though is that it's a one man show. It's just me and I am like low budget babe. I'm the lighting person. I'm the camera person. I'm the content creator. I'm the stylist, the creative director of everything. It's just a one man show and it's a lot more work than people think it is. But yeah, that's a wrap for today. <sighs> I need to eat and drink water. I've had no water today. Not a single sip of water today. Not a single sip. I didn't even drink any water while I was eating my food. Every time I stand up, I black out. So that's where we're, <laughs> that's where we're at in life. But I just wanted to like update the vlog because I completely neglected the vlog during today's chaos. So I will probably see you guys tomorrow. It's 10 a.m. on Saturday and it's 50 degrees outside. Okay, it got a little bit warmer. When I first woke up at like 8.30, it was 50 degrees. It's 58 degrees now, but that is still extremely cool. It sounds so nice and I haven't gone outside today yet, but I want to. So before I sit down and start doing all the stuff that's on my list of things to do today, I'm gonna take Luna outside on a walk because it's so nice out. And we used to take her outside for walks like every day, but then obviously when summer hit and it got really, 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 really hot, she didn't even wanna be outside that long. Like she was looking for the shade. She wanted to come back inside. So in the summer, we didn't take her out as much, but now it's getting cooler. So I think she would appreciate going outside. You wanna go outside? <gasps> Yay, let's go! Okay, watch. Watch this. Her little leash is in her toy box. Okay, so she knows what this is. Oh, she's in the fun. Look at you. You wanna go outside? Come on. Usually she runs to the door when she knows we're going outside like a damn dog. Come here, buddy. Come here. You gotta put your harness on. Uh-uh. You know you have to put it on to go outside. You wanna go outside? You gotta put your harness on. Good girl. He's a good girl. He's so excited. Let me get shoes. Let me get shoes. Yay! Come on. Good girl. Oh. Let's go walk. Win. Come on. Good girl. It's okay. Oh shit, there's a dog. <laughs> okay, we'll stay right here till the doggy goes away. Okay. She does pretty good with dogs actually. Like if they walk by, she's pretty chill about it. Okay, well we're just gonna go for a little walk, spend some time outside for like, I don't know. 15, 20 minutes, and then I will catch up with you guys when I'm settled and getting the day started. Okay, I'm back inside. We were outside for like 45 minutes. She's so bad. I put this mask on my face, obviously, because my skin is like slightly freaking out. And at first I was like, why is my skin all of a sudden freaking out after I've had this medication? But hello. I slightly forgot that I had been taking half the doses because my doctor asked me to try taking half the doses to see how my skin reacts to that with less medication. And I think my skin is like adjusting to that because my skin's kind of freaking out a little bit. I also think it's because I've had a little bit of dairy. I shouldn't eat it, so now I pay the price. But I need to get my life together. I have a whole list of things that I need to do. I always text myself. I don't know if anyone else does that because if it's on a note or something, it's not like a reminder, but I will text myself and then not read the text so that there's a notification and I text myself like all of my reminders. So I'm always texting myself. Is that weird? Oh, update on the job. I finally received the information to like start the process of all the things they needed for me to start this job, which include paperwork, a background check and a drug test. Yesterday I went and took the drug test and it was 
such a mess because of me. Basically, I'm never hydrated, right? So I never drink that much water. I made an appointment for yesterday at 10.30 a.m. to go do my drug test. On my way there, I have my water bottle with me because I always bring it everywhere with me, but I just don't drink enough water. So on the way there, I was taking sips of water so that I would have to pee when I got there. So I get there, I'm back there with the lady and she's explaining what to do. And it's like very particular, like you have to go in the bathroom, you have four minutes in there and you can't flush the toilet and you can't wash your hands and like they have to check your pockets and everything so <laughs> i go in the bathroom and i pee like tmi i pee like this much mind you she gave me a cup and the line is like i need to pee like this much of the cup and i can only pee like this much and i was like shoot and i only have four minutes in there so i'm sitting there like trying to pee i can't pee so i come out and i'm like ma'am I'm, I can't pee, I'm sorry. So because I can't pee, it's like a whole thing, which I did not know. So because I couldn't pee enough the first time, then I had to fill out this paperwork basically saying I couldn't pee enough the first time. And now there's like this process and like a log where we have to log how much water I drink and w at what time I'm able to pee enough. <laughs> and basically she gives me a little water bottle, like the small water bottles every 15 minutes and she tracks how many I'm drinking. I can't leave the facility until I pee. So I was there for another hour and 15 minutes. If I just would have peed the first time, I would have, my appointment would have been 10 minutes, but no, I couldn't pee. So I had to sit there and drink three of those tiny water bottles. And then what sucked is I couldn't pee, couldn't pee, couldn't pee. I kept waiting and I didn't wanna, like once I started to feel like maybe I could pee, I didn't wanna jump the gun and be like, okay, I can pee now. Cause then what if I still couldn't? So I was like waiting until I like knew for a fact, I really had to pee and it was gonna be a lot of pee. Finally, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. And she's like, okay, she has to take care of a couple other people now. Cause in that hour that I'm sitting in the waiting room drinking these waters, other people have come in. Mind you, when I got there, nobody was there. No one was there for the whole first 20 minutes that I was in there. It was just me and the lady. And now there's like six other people in the waiting room. So now I have to wait another 20 minutes. I'm sitting in the chair about to pee in my pants. I'm about to jump up and start like pacing back and forth and jumping up and down like a child holding their pee because I had to pee so bad. And I couldn't just go pee and wait for her to get done and then pee again because I felt like I'd be there for another hour drinking three more water bottles if I did that. So I had to just wait till she was done. I had probably 30 seconds left in me before I peed my pants when she finally brought me back to finally do the drug test. So it was quite the appointment yesterday, but we got it done. So that part's done, but now there's still a couple more, I have my computer here, a couple more things I need to complete up apparently. So I'm going to do that really quick. Also, I'm planning my birthday dinner. Usually for my birthday, I just do dinner. I didn't even have a birthday party when I turned 16 or, or 18 or 21. I just had a party when I was 13 and I had a party at 30. So this year, this is kind of turning into a little thing too. Not a party. It's still just a dinner, but my mom bought me these shoes. Where are the shoes? I want to show you a picture. She had like some coupons she needed to use. So I got these really cute white Steve Madden boots and the boots inspired my entire party. And I was like, these are giving me full on Austin Powers, late 60s, early 70s vibes. And if you don't know, aside from the 90s, which is obviously a style era of greatness. But aside from that, if I were to choose my favorite decade to dress like, I love the 70s. I love the colors of the 70s, the bell-bottom pants. I love the hairstyles. Even the late 60s, like those cute little short dresses with the high boots. So kind of like late 60s, early 70s combined, that inspired my birthday dinner. I'm having a slightly themed birthday dinner and I made a really cute invitation that I haven't sent yet, but this is what it looks like, I'll show y'all. This part doesn't have any of like the time, place information because that would be weird. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the 
invitation that I made. I made it on Canva and I reached out to this restaurant to see if I could book a certain area in the restaurant and they emailed me back. They're super nice. I was trying to book it at this other restaurant because they have this Airstream that you can eat dinner at and then it's like a patio, like a rooftop vibe. And I thought that would be perfect with the theme. But when I emailed them about it, that shit was gonna cost $3,500 minimum. And I'm only inviting like 15 people. And it said not including tax or gratuity. That means every single one of us, not couples, like individually, every person would have to spend $233. And mind you, the prices at this place are not very high. We go and eat there all the time. It's like normal price meals and regular restaurant price drinks. There's no fucking way we would each spend over $200 on our stuff. Even if one person ordered an appetizer, a meal, a dessert, and two drinks, that would not be $230 at this place. So I was like, what the fuck? Absolutely not. It's just my birthday dinner. It's not that serious. So this place that we're going to, they have two options where one is $1,500. So that's like $100-ish a person. Or they have another area that's $750. And that's more like 50 bucks a person. And if I do invite 20 instead of 15, which I might, then it's more like $37.50 per person, which is definitely doable. Like who the fuck? Anyways, I think this is where we're gonna do it. This lady was so nice. I was asking a lot of questions about the area and which area we could choose and like what part is what part. And so she just invited me to come look at the space. So I'm gonna do that. I think something is Monday. I know something was Monday, but I can't go Tuesday because that's when I'm getting my Botox and shit in my jaw, which I'm so excited about. Where's my good pen? Okay, I'll just use this pen. That makes me sad. But there is something else Monday that I'm forgetting. October 18th. What was October 18th that I'm forgetting? Hmm. Also, I haven't gone to the gym in a fucking week. I'm so mad at myself. Ugh. I've just been feeling, this is gonna sound so stupid because it's the gym where you don't need to look cute and where nobody cares, but I've just been feeling so not good about myself physically, like how I look and my face and my hair, but then also like my body. So it's like a double whammy. I feel like my hard work is not paying off, not because of the gym, because I was killing myself in the gym, it's because I can't eat enough food. I cannot eat enough food. So I need to like figure that out. And now I have anxiety about going to the gym because I haven't gone for a week. And you know, I have anxiety going to the gym when I'm going on a regular basis. So when I stop going on a regular basis, the anxiety gets slightly heavier. So I need to, I need to go for sure on Monday. I don't usually go Mondays. I usually go Sundays, but sometimes, you know, life, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, let me email her back. Oh, I've been spelling her name wrong. I'm an asshole. I feel bad. Okay. She is so nice. I freaking love nice people. Those emails are sent. What I need to do is eat. So, ooh, my camera has 2%, it's about to die. I am just going to eat some lunch because I didn't eat breakfast and it's now noon. Wash this off my face, do some skincare. I don't really know what today holds, but I'll keep you posted. It is the next day at 6 a.m., Sunday, October 17th, and we're up early because, I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog before actually, but Vic is now coaching little kids baseball. They're like 11. They had a tournament this weekend. They played yesterday and then they played today. Uh, me and Tori didn't go yesterday. I just had too much to get done, but we're all going today. It should be fun. We went last weekend and it was so fun and they won the whole tournament. They're so stinking cute. I'm dressed like this, if you're wondering, because it is cold outside. It's 45 degrees, so I'm prepared. But yeah, I really just came on to end. Oh, this was like the we need to leave alarm clock. I'm just deliriously tired because I went to bed pretty late. I feel like I got like four hours of sleep. I would vlog at the games, but you know, like children, parents don't think their parents want their children on someone else's vlog. I literally just met these parents last weekend. And yeah, I just came on to end the vlog. This is going up later today, probably tonight in the evening. 
but thank you for watching and i'll see you in next week's vlog bye